Okay, so this will be on the application of trigger for finding unknown angle. Um, example 3. Make sure you guys don't um, miss such important details out when you are answering the question. If they ask for 4SF, you must follow. Okay, if not, it will be one decimal point by default for angles. Find the value of theta. So, I have the reference angle given to you. So, let's label the sides first. That should always be your first step. H, O, and A. Okay? Then, if I want the angle, I need to make a decision. Should I use tangent, cosine, or sine? So, it will be O over A, A over H, and O over H. Okay? So, now, which one should I use? I have A, I have H, I have A, I have H. So, I decided to use cosine theta as equals to 13.5 over 17. Then if I want to find theta, I want to do the inverse of cosine 13.5 divided by 17, which I will get 37.42806 SF. And I'm rounding off to 37.43 degree for significant figure. Next, find the value of x and the value of y. So I, you know, you can just find 90 degree, uh, find one and you just have to take the sum of triangle to go and minus, minus it off and then you can find the other angle, right? So I'm just gonna start with x. If I use x, then my reference angle, uh, as my reference angle, then this will be the side. 24 will be my opposite. So I need to make a decision once again. Tua, ka, so, okay, so this O over A, A over H, O over H, I have H, I have O, I will need to use sine, okay, so sine X is equal to 24 over 25, X is equal to sine inverse of 24 divided by 25, so I will get that this is um, 73.7 uh four zero then i will say that wait seventy three point one two three four five six sorry point three nine eight yep and this will be six significant figure and i have to change this to seventy three point seven four degree for SF. Now, a natural way of doing it would then be just taking 180 minus 90 minus this, but I don't want to do that. For the sake of this practice, I'm going to use Trigo one more time. I, you should follow me also, okay, to practice on using Trigo. So this will be H, this will be O, this will be A as my reference angle. I have this, I have this, okay. So I should use cosine to find angle Y. I mean, you can use sine or you can use tangent by using what you have found in X. Uh, sorry, by using uh, uh, Pythagoras theorem, you find out the other side, then you have your O and then you can do it. Um, but let's not overcomplicate things and Pythagoras theorem is not part of this worksheet, so we just use whatever that we have. We practice using the information that's given to us for now. So we have cosine y is equal to 24 over 25. So y equals to sine inverse 24 over 25 and this will give us Eh, no sine inverse, cosine inverse, sorry. Cosine inverse. So this will give us 24 over 25, 16.2602. 6SF. Rounded off to 4SF, 16.26, 4SF. And I get my angle. And you see that actually these two numbers add together will give you 90 degree. Okay? Plus the other right angle, you get a sum of triangle to be uh 180 last one reference angle c this is my h this is my o this is my a so i have my o i have my a so what do i use i use tangent c okay so you get 27 over 11 c will be equal to tangent inverse of 27 over 11 and i get my answer as 
67. Okay, sorry for the handwriting. 67.8337. Six significant figure. And final answer is 67.83 degree for SF. Okay, so that will be all uh, for this part. Homework, please go and get it done. Uh, for this segment, don't miss it out. Uh. Okay, although it's in the middle of the